in this video demonstration I will demonstrate how to launch a SQL injection attack using SQL map or SQL map at Kali Linux so these are the comments that we have used the first line is the syntax that we will use to find out the vulnerable website so basically our target is to find out the websites which accept um, the field as um, an unvalidated um, uh, input and then um, we'll see whether the um, site is vulnerable or not so once we put this syntax it lists all the website which is accepting um, uh, which is accepting the result or putting the result based on the ID value um, which means it is um, accessing the database and retrieving the um, result and the ID is um, added in the URL link now we'll go to the link and at the end of the uh, end of the link we'll use an apostrophe um, to see that whether it, it generates any error or not so in this case you can see it generates the error and it's telling the database is MariaDB so we can understand that this site is vulnerable okay let's take another example and in this example also let's try putting a um, apostrophe at the end and enter and we see it does not return any error that means it's not possible to launch a SQL injection attack in this website let's look at um, another example And you see this generates the error as well so therefore in this way we can find the vulnerable website however for this demonstration and for ethical hacking purposes we are going to use um, this particular website which is that test php dot v u l n w e b dot com and then you can see the forward slash list products dot php question mark cat equals to one we're going to put the FSTP at the end and we see it generates the error and uh, SQL is MySQL. So we can understand that this is a vulnerable website and if we want, we can launch the attack in this website. Now for launching the attack, let's go open the terminal now in the terminal when we will um, we, we will use sql map let's um, instead of writing let's copy the command from uh, the leaf pad where i have written the command already so as you can see sql map space hyphen u then the link of the website now not alone with the strip okay without the strip just the original link and then hyphen hyphen dbs so this is actually trying to extract the name of the database um okay we got an arrow and it's saying that um issue let's um, figure out what is the error so it seems like the link Arrow is there. It should not be forward slash. It should be question mark. So list products dot php question mark cat equals to one. seems like this time it is successful we want to skip 
test payloads on other specific device it's saying that it's figured out that it has a database in my school do you still want to check uh, for other devices so yes carry on so all tests from my school yes carry on No. Um, yeah. Hmm. So it seems like it get the databases, name of the databases, two databases. One is A C U A R T. So next we'll use the command because this time we know the database. So it will be minus D hyphen D and then the name of the database because we already retrieved it. But we don't know the name of the name of the table, so we give hyphen hyphen tables. So it will extract all the tables. So it extracted all the tables stored in the databases. Now uh, specify the database and go for columns. So that uh, table is database is accurate, table is users, and we're going for columns. So you get all the columns. Okay, the name of the columns, address, etc. etc. including new name. So what are you going to do now? Specify the column name, U name, and password, and we are going to dump. So this is how we can steal all the credentials of a certain websites. Now this is a test case. We can see test username and test password. So thank you for watching. This is a very straightforward way to launch a SQL injection attack, and SQL map makes it easy. Thank you.